US Route 84, US 84 is an east-west US highway. It started as a short Georgia-Alabama route in the original 1926 scheme, but by 1941 it had been extended all the way to Colorado. The highway's eastern terminus is a short distance east of Midway, Georgia, at an interchange with Interstate 95. The road continues toward the nearby Atlantic Ocean as a county road. Its western terminus is in Pagosa Springs, Colorado, at an intersection with US 160. The section from Brunswick, Georgia to Roscoe, Texas has been designated by five state legislatures as part of the El Camino East West Corridor. The designation was in recognition of its history as a migration route from the Atlantic coast to the present Mexico-United States border, one of the routes that Spanish settlers called El Camino Real. In Louisiana, the route was called the Harrisonburg Road. The designation is intended to promote the route for both tourism and NAFTA facilitated trade with Mexico. States are asking for federal funds to widen the US 84 El Camino East West Corridor. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Route description. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Colorado. The western terminus of US 84, Pagosa Springs, Colorado, was made famous by C. W. McCall in the 1975 song and album Wolf Creek Pass. US 84 actually ends approximately 1 mile 1 east of downtown Pagosa Springs at a T intersection with US 160 Main Street. South of Pagosa Springs, the 28 miles 45 kilometers of the Colorado section of US 84 pass through a portion of San Juan National Forest. The highway climbs Confar Hill, a drainage divide between the Rio Blanco and Navajo River, before descending into the village of Cromo and passing into New Mexico. Topic New Mexico US 84 enters Rio Araba County, New Mexico, 28 miles 45 kilometers south of its terminus at US 160. About 6 miles 9.7 kilometers south of the Colorado New Mexico state line US 64 comes from the west and travels concurrently with US 84 for the next 28 miles 45 kilometers only 3 miles 4.8 kilometers east of this intersection the concurrency crosses the continental divide at Sargent Pass elevation 7718 feet 2352 meters above sea level or more than 3100 feet 940 meters lower than Wolf Creek Pass the next continental divide high Highway pass to the north. Therefore, only 37 miles 60 km of US 84 are located west of the Continental Divide. About 12 miles 19 km east of the intersection, US 64, US 84 enters the town of Chama. At AT intersection, New Mexico State Road 17 enters from the north and terminates at said intersection, while US 64 and US 84 enter from the south and west. 
After heading south from Chama, US-64 and US-84 combined for about 14 miles kilometers to Tierra Amarilla, where US-64 departs from US-84 and heads southeast, while US-84 continues south. About 57 miles kilometers down the road, US-84 is joined by US-285 south of the small community of Chile. About 5 miles kilometers further, US-84, US-285 enters the city of Española from the north as North Paseo de Onate Street. At the south end of the town, US-84, US-285 becomes the Santa Fe Highway and an expressway. About 9 miles 14 kilometers further, US-84, US-285 becomes a limited access freeway. 15 miles 24 kilometers further south, the two return to surface street status, and then travel past downtown Santa Fe via St. Francis Drive. On the south side of Santa Fe at Interstate 25's exit 282A, US-84, US-285 merges with northbound I-25, US-85. All four highways head east and slightly to the south to avoid the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. Just before turning north, US-285 exits the freeway at exit 290 and continues south. After winding north and south, the freeway finally begins heading solely north, and US-84 exits about 55 miles kilometers later at exit 339 near Romeroville and travels in an east-southeast direction, while I-25, US-85 continue north to Colorado. Following a path southeast and then south for 42 miles 68 kilometers, US-84 merges with I-40 and historic US-66 at I-40's exit 256. After 17 miles 27 kilometers I-40, US-84 enters Santa Rosa. About 21 miles 34 kilometers from its confluence with I-40, US-84 diverges at exit 277. The highway then travels south, southeast for 42 miles 68 kilometers until merging with US-60 in downtown Fort Sumner. From the intersection with US 60, US 60, US 84 travels east, passing through Tyburn and Melrose before intersecting US 70 after 61 miles in Clovis. From the intersection with US 70, US 64, US 70, US 84 travels east 8.7 miles kilometers entering Texaco. Here, about 280 feet 85 meters before the Texas-New Mexico state line, US-60 splits from US-70, US-84 with US-70, US-84 continuing east into Farwell, Texas. Despite being an east-west route, US-84 is signed as north-south between feet. Sumner and the Colorado border. Topic: Texas. US 70, US 84 crosses into Texas at Farwell. After passing through Farwell, US 70, US 84 veers to the southeast, continuing as a concurrency until Malleshu. 
from Maleshu, US-70 leaves the route, while US-84 continues on a southeasterly direction across the level plains of the Llano Estacado. Along this stretch, US-84 travels parallel to the BNSF Railway, crosses a sandy section called the Maleshu Dunes, and then passes Littlefield, the birthplace of country singer Waylon Jennings. US-84 continues in a southeasterly direction through cotton fields and small towns such as Anton and Shallowwater, eventually entering Lubbock, the largest city in the South Plains and the birthplace of Buddy Holly. Signed as Avenue Q, US-84 passes through the heart of downtown Lubbock before making a sharp easterly turn on the southeast side of the city, where it is known as the Slayton Highway. After bypassing the town of Slayton, US-84 makes another gentle turn to the east, following a generally southeasterly heading through Post, Snyder, and Roscoe, where it merges with I-20. From this point, US-84 follows I-20, unsigned, until Abilene, where it leaves the interstate, making a hard southerly turn and forming the western side of a three-quarter loop around the city along with US-83 and US-277. From the south side of Abilene, US-84 continues as a concurrency with US-83 signed as US-84 West, East and US-83 South, North until the two highways split about 2 miles .2 km northeast of Tuscola, and though still signed as East, West, maintains a due south, north heading. US-84 makes a gentle turn back to the southeast at Lawn, following this bearing until Santa Ana, where it merges with US-67 and takes a more due easterly turn. US-84 merges with US-183 at Brownwood, and once again turns to the southeast, continuing as a concurrency until Goldthwaite, where it leaves US-283 and yet again makes a sharp turn to the east. It follows this heading all the way to McGregor. From McGregor, the highway makes a turn to the northeast to Woodway. This stretch of US 84 is also signed as the George W. Bush Parkway. US 84 then crosses into Waco, going past the downtown area along Waco Drive, and then northeast into the suburb of Belmede. After a brief concurrency with State Highway 31 through Belmede, US 84 continues fairly due east passing through Mexia then at Teague, it takes yet another turn to the north before turning back to the east at an intersection with I-45 in Fairfield. US 84 merges with US 79 and makes another northerly turn southwest of Palestine, and then splits from US 79 just southwest of downtown before making another turn eastward and passing through town. The highway follows a gentle northeasterly path all the way to Timpson, passing through the towns of Maydal, Rusk where it intersects with US-69 Reclaw, Mount Enterprise where it intersects US-259, and Timpson where it merges with US-59, and serves as the northern terminus of SH-87. From Timpson to Tenaha it is briefly concurrent with US-59 to its intersection with US-96. From this point, US-84 continues its easterly path through to rest of eastern Texas, passing through Joaquin before crossing into Louisiana across the Sabine River into the town of Logansport. Topic Louisiana 
Once the highway leaves Logansport, it travels through Stanley and then northeast into Mansfield, where it merges for a brief stretch with US 171. It continues east, crossing under I-49, until it reaches Grand Bayou, where it turns to the southeast, merging with Louisiana Highway 1 LA1. After approximately 2 miles .2 kilometers, it turns back again to the east, where it merges with US-71 in Kushata and stays with that highway until Clarence. It then heads northeast towards Winfield, where it merges for a short time with US-167. It turns to the northeast towards Joyce, then begins a long stretch to the southeast, passing through Tullis, where it intersects US-165, through the parish seat of Jenna, and continues in that direction until it crosses into Catahoula Parish. It bears east through Jonesville until Faraday, where it merges with US-425. It then heads southeast through Vidalia where it crosses the Mississippi River into Natchez, Mississippi. Mississippi The four-laned Natchez-Vidalia Bridge, crossing the Mississippi River, carries US-84 into Natchez. Here, it merges with US-61. It then travels approximately 4 miles .4 km to the northeast where it reaches the western terminus of US-98 at Washington, where it is paired with US-98 until Bude, Meadville. The road continues east, crossing under I-55 and heads east towards Collins. A new bypass of Collins opened in March 2009, relieving the heavily congested original route through downtown. The new bypass provides improved access to US-49, another of Mississippi's major four-lane highways connecting Jackson and points north through the Mississippi Delta with the Mississippi Gulf Coast. US 84 travels concurrent with I-59 for a short distance through Laurel. It then heads east to Waynesboro and continues to the Alabama state line. <laughs> Alabama In Alabama, US 84 is paired with unsigned Alabama State Route 12 SR12. Parts of the route have been widened in recent years to four-lane status. The most significant exist from River Falls eastward to Andalusia, near Op where a recent bypass of the downtown area now carries US-84 in a southern arc around the town, and from Enterprise eastward through Daleville and on to the Dothan area and then the Georgia state line at the Chattahoochee River in Saffold. Plans exist to widen the US 84 corridor to four lanes elsewhere in Alabama but due to funding issues the projects are in various stages of development. One such stretch is just east of Op, where construction began on a four-lane eastward towards Elba but has stalled due to funding. US 84 has brief stretches concurrent with other US highways in Alabama. US 84 shares a routing with US 31 from just southwest of Evergreen to a few miles east of the town. It briefly shares a routing with US 29 in the city of Andalusia. It also shares a routing with US 331 near the opposite. At Dothan, US 84 shares a concurrency with US 231 and US 431 on the Ross Clark Circle which is the circular bypass of downtown. 
US 84 crosses three major navigable waterways in Alabama. They are the Tombigbee River at Coffeyville, the Alabama River at Claiborne, and the Chattahoochee River at the Alabama-Georgia state line. US 84 passes through Enterprise which is very near the large military facility of Fort Rucker which is the United States Army's helicopter training school. Most of US 84 in Alabama traverses the Gulf Coastal Plain which is relatively lowlying land with some sand content. The area is heavily agricultural with little heavy industry. Dothan is the largest city in Alabama traversed by US 84 and it is the business and agricultural center of southeast Alabama. The area is commonly referred to as the Wiregrass region. <inaudible> Georgia After entering Georgia from Alabama west of Jacon, Georgia, the route travels through the southern portion of the state, meeting its eastern terminus at Interstate 95 east of Midway. U.S. Route 84 through Georgia is also known as the Wiregrass Georgia Parkway. After entering the state from Alabama, U.S. Route 84 travels east to Donaldsonville to Bainbridge. The route travels around the city to the south to a freeway bypass, co-signed with U.S. Route 27, State Route 1. The route continues east through Cairo to Thomasville, where it bypasses downtown to the north and east, co-signed with U.S. Route 319, then U.S. Route 19, State Route 3, State Route 300. The route continues east to Quitman, where it becomes co-signed with U.S. Route 221 east, past its interchange with Interstate 75, to Valdosta. In Valdosta, U.S. Route 221 departs, and U.S. Route 84 continues east-northeast to Waycross, where it is briefly co-signed with U.S. Routes 1, 23, and 82. U.S. Route 84 continues northeast from Waycross, passing through Blackshear before arriving in Jessup. In Jessup, the route becomes co-signed with U.S. Routes 25 and 301 northeast to Ludovici. In Ludovici, U.S. Routes 25 and 301 departs to the northwest, and U.S. Route 84 continues northeast to Hinesville. In Hinesville, the route becomes co-signed with State Route 196 and takes a drastic turn to the east. A short distance, State Route 196 departs, and U.S. Route 84 as well as State Route 38 continues east to its eastern terminus at Exit 76 on Interstate 95 east of Midway. History When originally designated in 1926, US 84 was a much shorter route spanning 281 miles (452 kilometers) from Dothan, Alabama to Brunswick, Georgia. In 1934, the highway was extended west to Farwell, Texas before its subsequent extension northwest into Colorado, according to maps and documents held at the Alabama Department of Transportation Library in Montgomery, the section between Natchez, Mississippi, and Wagerville, Alabama had been planned as US 86 the year before. Topic Louisiana Throughout Louisiana, US 84 was largely aligned with the existing state Route 6. 
The major exception was the portion west of Clarence, where Route 6 followed a more southern path from the Texas line through Natchitoches. Additionally, US 84 took advantage of a shorter route between Winfield and Jenner that passed through Tullis rather than Ola. The only major realignment since 1934 occurred about 1955 when an improved road was opened between Mansfield and Kushata that passed through Grand Bayou rather than Evelyn. That year, the state highway designations co-signed with US 84 were discontinued as part of the 1955 Louisiana Highway renumbering. Topic: Mississippi, Alabama. Upon its extension, US 84 originally looped southeast on US 45 from Waynesboro, Mississippi to state line, then east along Alabama State Route 56 to Wagerville, Alabama, and back to the northeast via US 43 to Grove Hill, Alabama. This route was bypassed in the 1960s when a more direct connection between Waynesboro and Grove Hill was established. <laughs> Georgia The eastern ends of US 84 and US 82 were swapped in 1989 after the roads around Waycross, Georgia, were reconfigured. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Major intersections. Colorado US 160 in Pagosa Springs. New Mexico US 64 east of Monero. The highways travel concurrently to south-southwest of Tierra Amarilla. US 285 north-northwest of Hernandez. The highways travel concurrently to El Dorado at Santa Fe. I-25, US 85 south of Santa Fe. The highways travel concurrently to Romeroville. I-40 west-northwest of Santa Rosa. The highways travel concurrently to Santa Rosa. US-54 in Santa Rosa. The highways travel concurrently through Santa Rosa. I-40 in Santa Rosa. I-40, US-54 in Santa Rosa US-60 in Fort Sumner. The highways travel concurrently to Texaco. US-70 in Clovis. The highways travel concurrently to Maleshu, Texas. Texas US-385 in Littlefield US 82 in Lubbock US 62 in Lubbock I 27, US 87 in Lubbock US 380 in Post. The highways travel concurrently through Post. US 180 in Snyder I 20 east of Roscoe the highways travel concurrently to the Thai Abilene City Line. US 83, US 277 in Abilene. US 83, US 84 travels concurrently to east northeast of Tuscola. US 84, US 277 travels concurrently through Abilene. US 283 in Coleman. The highways travel concurrently to Santa Ana. US 67 in Santa Ana. The highways travel concurrently to Early. US 377 in Brownwood. The highways travel concurrently to Early. 
US 183 in early. The highways travel concurrently to north of Goldthwaite. US 281 in Event I-35, US-77 in Waco I-45 in Fairfield US-79 northeast of Oakwood. The highways travel concurrently to Palestine. US-287 in Palestine. The highways travel concurrently through Palestine. US-69 in Rusk US 259 in Mount Enterprise Future I-69, US 59 in Timpson. The highways travel concurrently to Tenaha. Future I-69, Future I-369, US 59, US 96 in Tenaha Future I-69 east of Tenaha Louisiana US-171 in Mansfield. The highways travel concurrently through Mansfield. I-49 east of Mansfield US-371 west of Kushata. The highways travel concurrently to Kushata. US-71 in Kushata. The highways travel concurrently to Clarence. US-167 in Winfield. The highways travel concurrently to east of Winfield. US-165 in Tullis US-425 in Faraday. The highways travel concurrently to Natchez. Mississippi US 61, US 425 in Natchez. US 61, US 84 travel concurrently to west southwest of Washington. US 61, US 98 west southwest of Washington. US 84, US 98 travels concurrently to Butte. I-55 south southwest of Brookhaven US-51 south of Brookhaven US-49 in Collins I-59 in Laurel. The highways travel concurrently through Laurel. US-45 in Waynesboro Alabama US-43 in Grove Hill I-65 west-southwest of Evergreen US-31 southwest of Evergreen. The highways travel concurrently to east of Evergreen. US-29 in Andalusia. The highways travel concurrently through Andalusia. US 331 in opposite. The highways travel concurrently through opposite. US 231 in Dothan. The highways travel concurrently through Dothan. US 431 in Dothan. The highways share a hidden concurrency through Dothan. Georgia US 27 in Bainbridge. The highways travel concurrently through Bainbridge. US 319 north northwest of Thomasville. The highways travel concurrently to north northeast of Thomasville. US 19, US 319 north northeast of Thomasville. US 19, US 84 travels concurrently to east of Thomasville. US 221 in Quitman. The highways travel concurrently to Valdosta. I 75 in Valdosta. US 41, US 221 in Valdosta. US 129 in Stockton. US 441 in Homerville 
US-1, US-23, US-82 in Waycross. The highways travel concurrently through Waycross. US-341 in Jessup US-25, US-301 in Jessup. The highways travel concurrently to Ludovici. US-17 in Midway I-95 in Midway <laughs>